Last week, Punjab saw widespread suspension of SMS and mobile internet services. Initially, this was for one day by an order that resembled a fill in the blanks document indicating some level of templatization and administrative non application of mine. But over the next three days, the order kept being extended. Nearly 28 million people live in the state of Punjab, and it's important to examine whether this was done legally or not. Hi, my name is Tanmay Singh, and I'm the senior litigation counsel at the Internet Freedom Foundation. I'm here to tell you that the Supreme Court has recognized that speech on the internet and the right to carry on one's occupation over the medium of the internet are constitutionally protected as fundamental rights under Article 19 of the Constitution. Indian law states that internet suspensions can only be ordered on the occurrence of a public emergency or when there's a threat to public safety. The original fill-in-the-blanks order and its subsequent extensions did not specify any particular reason for issuing the suspension, nor provided any details that could rise to the level of a public emergency or public safety. From reading contemporaneous news reports, one could gather that internet suspensions were issued in an attempt to arrest one person, but this does not meet the legal standard. The telecom suspension rules that were framed in 2017 are the law of the land and they must be followed by all, even by our governments. At the same time, we saw that numerous Twitter accounts and tweets were taken down or suspended on orders of the Indian government. As per the Lumen database, a research collaborative where legal complaints and removal requests for online content are archived, we found that one legal request dated March 19 by the Indian government to Twitter contained a list of several accounts that were withheld and tweets uh, that were suspended belonging to politicians, journalists, reporters and even poets relating to Punjab. Censorship, internet shutdowns, these all severely impact the fundamental right to free expression and are a matter of serious concern especially when done in an arbitrary, illegal and opaque manner. The Parliamentary Standing Committee on Information Technology has noted in its report that internet shutdowns cost India nearly $2.8 billion in 2020 because of losses to app-based economies, IT, tourism, hospitality, etc. This cost will now be borne by the residents of Punjab. But it's not just Punjab. Last month, Haryana issued a similar internet shutdown order devoid of any particulars or details and Rajasthan routinely suspends internet services in the state to conduct examinations. Watch our previous video on internet shutdowns to know more about that and on our work on internet shutdowns. Also, join our Telegram community and please donate to IFF to keep this work going.